agencies honor one of our very best policemen, the world-renowned Inspector Gadget. Gosh, we're so proud of you, Uncle Gadget. Aren't we, Brain? Well, well, well. All part of the job, kids. We've gathered a few film clips of some of the great inspectors' more dramatic cases. Please watch the screen. Sun's too strong. What? Oh no! This is terrible. Somebody stole our convention. There's only one way to handle us. We're all under arrest. Everyone remain here while I go look for a policeman. Go, go, Gadget Lake! <laughs> Easy as pie, Dr. Quan. We wrap those cops of everything in 30 seconds flat. Excellent, my young apprentices. Huh? Excuse me, gentlemen. I'm looking for a policeman to report a theft. It's no use, Dr. Quan. Gadget's caught up with us. We're going back. Here we are, officer. Do your duty and arrest every... Huh? Wowzers. Which policeman pulled the job, Commissioner? Why, these mad agents confessed and told us how you caught them. You're a great kidder, Gadget, as well as a fine inspector. Thank you, Commissioner. Bravo. Bullseye. Very nice. Phooey, these young agents are useless. Oh. It's time to call my old teacher, the greatest criminal mind of all time, less renowned. That's why you have to change your own lifestyle accordingly. You cannot behave like you used to when you were young. You must pace yourselves. The old bad guys and gals retirement home, whom do you wish to arrest? Teacher, it's me, Dr. Claw. Never heard of him, Fuzz. Go arrest a jaywalker. This is Dr. Claw, your prize pupil. Of course. I'd know that arm anywhere. What can I do for you, kid? I want to put out a contract on Inspector Gadget. Ten million dollars tax-free. And I want the best of the old-timers for the job. Hmm, ten big ones. Well, for that you get the very best. You get, um... 
and get, uh, who is this again? Dr. Claw! Ah, yes. For that, there is only one. The G-G-G. The great, great godfather? I thought he was dead. He prefers it that way. You must go see him in person. I'm on my way. Thank you, teacher. I've made it. Nobody escapes from GGG. Gadget has finally met his match. Mad Cat! Where is GGG? He's on his way! He'll be here shortly, see? Why do you come to GGG? Because I can't find new, young, brave, and talented criminals. I now come to the great, great godfather. I am hurt that you did not come to me sooner. My sons share my grief. We share GGG. And you, Eugene? See, si, Papa, I agree. Uh, what was the question? I almost said. Uh... Let us get on with the business. This man. Inspector Gadget, I want him eliminated. <laughs> so it is promised, so it shall be done. <laughs> What a delightful, quaint town to hold a crime fighter's convention. The sound of vendors, the tinkling of the secret gadget phone, the music of a concertina. Uncle Gadget, aren't you going to answer it? Why would I answer a concertina? Ah, yes, my phone. Uncle, oh, wait! Oh, Inspector Gadget here. Yes, Chief, I'll be right there. Chief, are you in here? Chief, you've disguised yourself as a telephone. Come on, I know it's you. Gadget, over here. Oh, there you are, Chief. Gadget, here are your secret instructions. Suspect mad plot to bring super criminal GGG out of retirement to get Gadget. Use extreme caution. This message will self-destruct. GGG. Well, it will take more than an out-of-touch has-been to worry Inspector Gadget. Oh, no! Oh. That's Gadget, all right. Hey, uh, what's the gadget, the Papa? Don't ask, Eugene. Okay, boys, we get Gadget. Yes, Papa! You kids enjoy your lunch. I'm going to stroll down to the dock and see how the fish are biting. We'd better keep an eye on Uncle Gadget, Bray. Let's go. What? Just in time. How's the fishing today? You'll get more than your share. <laughs> Thank you, my good man. And you, sir. No mention it, Inspector Gadget. How? How did you know my name? Everyone does. You are very well known. Isn't that right, kids? Yes, that's, that's right, right, Papa! How about joining us for some fishing? I would be honored. Well, thank you, but... Don't worry. We'll meet you over there at the fishing boat in a little while. But... but... Brain, get to the fishing boat before them and keep an eye on Uncle Gadget. What? Hello! Hello! Guten Tag! Welcome in aboard. Ich bin Hans Schmidt. 
May I help you? Oh, this is your private fishing boat. Welcome, Inspector Gadget. Welcome to our fishing boat. Oh, no. It's the GGG clan. <laughs> what happened? Oh, I'll have you out of these in a minute, sir. <laughs> oh, no. Brain, brain. Come in, brain. Brain? They're the GGG clan. Stay close to Uncle Gadget. Whoops. Whoops. There you are, old sir. Happy fishing. Thank you very much, young fellow. Wow! That's too bad. I kind of like them. It's a catastrophe, boys. You have your papa's permission to yell and scream. What a fishing tale to tell Penny and Brain. Thanks, fellas. It's been fun. And you're a great partner, old-timer. But, uh, you can't leave us now. We were just going to have lunch. Please join us. Why not? That little expedition gave me an appetite. Where will we eat? My sons will find just the right little restaurant. So tell me, old-timer, what did you do for a living before you retired? Follow Uncle Gadget, Brain. I'm going to call Chief Quimby. Ah, oh, Inspector. I'll send my sons first to check our reservation. Please wait. Of course. Wow. Wowzers! I thought it was a Japanese restaurant, but it's a Sicilian restaurant. Yes, and that's our table over there, near the window. Let's go. The 
let's get this over with. Let's get this over with. <laughs> let's get this over with. <laughs> let's get this over with. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Mm. Odd time of the year for a hailstorm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pineapple surprise. You'll get a bang out of it. Mwah. Arrivederci, gadget. Mwah. Mwah! Mm. Smells wonderful. Wowzers! Huh. This is the pineapple surprise, I suppose. Wait! <laughs> Hold still! Here's to the end of the gadget! Ah! See, this is not going to be easy. I like gadget style. This sure has been a fun day, kind old gentleman. Where to next? I like your style, gadget. I'm gonna miss you when you leave. Pull up over there. Wowzers! What a large building! Is that your building, old timer? It will be in a minute. Whoops! This place has the best view in town. Just the place for sightseeing. Start the tour, kind old man. You go ahead and uh, look around. I'll wait here. A police car. Must be some pilferage going on. Well, even if it's only a petty thief, it's my duty as a police officer to arrest him. <laughs> yeah! Hmm. Seems like I'm moving up. Whoa, no! What? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's that? Suspicious looking. This is the police. Show me your ID. Stop me! Oh no! I give up! <laughs> Stop me in the name of the law! <laughs> you are under arrest! Go, go, gadget copter! Arrivederci, Gadget! That's funny. My propeller feels heavy. Face <laughs> 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 the time for sure. <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> Wowzers! <laughs> 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 I'll drop you all the way to the bottom of the river. Stop! Mm. Whoa! Whoa! Eugene, help your papa. Whoa! Hey, what's going on here? Gadget wins. What a style. We give up. Stop! Thief! In the name of the law! Are you all right, Gadget? No need to help, Chief. Wowzers! Go, go, Gadget Copter! 
Huh? Thanks for a wonderful day, old timer. I like his style. <laughs> this is a fun papa! Well, there's no more threat from the GGG thanks to you, Gadget. That's a coincidence, Chief. That nice little old man I spent the day with had the same initials. <laughs> Incredible that we can move such heavy materials so easily, Uncle Gadget? Yes, Penny. Children shouldn't play around construction sites. There are dangerous things everywhere. And machines like this should only be handled by an Uncle expert. Uncle Gadget! Wowzers! Go, go, Gadget Arms! Whoa! Like I said before, machines like this should never be touched. Gadget foils mad attempt at robbing the world's largest bank. Inspector Gadget foils mad plot to kidnap world's wealthiest Siamese twins, ably assisted by Cape Man. Gadget impersonates King of Nostrovia and foils mad plot to take over the country. Get the picture, Professor Domkoff. You're not too pleased with Gadget? I want him crushed. I want him smashed. I want him flattened and destroyed. And you must find a way, or else! You can rely on me, Dr. Claw. I have here just the answer to the gadget problem. Behold the Linguinis, the ultimate weapon to eliminate Inspector Gadget. <laughs> Bravo, Linguinis! Well, now, my little darlings, are we ready to show Dr. Claw how we will deal with Inspector Gadget? Now, get Gadget! Bye-bye, Captain. Do well at Secret Agent School. I'm gonna miss that boy. After all, I taught him everything he knows. Yes, I remember when I was a young, eager secret agent like Capman, and... What's with those confounded bells? Can't be Christmas already. It's your secret gadget phone, Uncle Gadget. Precisely, Penny. So secret that even I failed to recognize it. Inspector Gadget here. Yes, Chief? I'm on my way. <laughs> Better wait here, kids. I've got a secret you-know-what with you-know-who. He's meeting with Chief Quimby. Come on, Brain. Suspect Mad's evil Professor Doomcock to make direct attempt on Gadget's life. Extreme caution recommended. This message will self-destruct. Got it, Chief. With Cape Man gone, perhaps you better come down to headquarters with me until this blows over. I'll do better than that, Chief. I'll lock myself in the Gadget house. That way, I'll be as safe as if I was with you. Oh, I wish he hadn't said that. Oh. Keep a close watch on Uncle Gadget Brain. I'll be in touch. Bye, Uncle Gadget. Be careful. You be careful, too, Penny. This is a very thick bomb. Better close the garage door. Go, go, Gadget Door! Ouch! Our house is uh, highly protected. Oh. 
So you see, Brain, with Inspector Gadget's finger on the controls, no mad agent could possibly gain entrance to this house. Well, what do you know? Just what I needed, a nurse. Thanks for calling her, Brain. Where are your manners, Brain? Let's let the nice nurse in to fix my finger. Oh, won't you come in, miss? Shame on you, Brain. Is this any way to welcome a nurse on an errand of mercy? Now, be a good boy and move out of my way. Welcome, nurse. You sure got here fast. How about this finger? Stop that, Brain. Excuse me, ma'am. I'll just put the dog outside. Make yourself at home. Curse it! We missed. Which one? Hi. Before the turn. Well, I'm back. Hey, where did she go? A nurse! Nursey Poo! Wowzers! Wonder where she went. Must be the shy type. But not that shy. She'll catch a good cold without these. Now, oh, miss, Miss Nurse, come out, come out, wherever you are, you naughty thing. I read you, Brain. Five suspicious little characters are in the house. Keep an eye on Uncle Gadget. I'll be home as soon as my finals are over. <laughs> Don't be shy, Nursey. If you have to operate on my finger, I can take it. I'm brave. Nope. She's not in here. Ow! No sign of her down here. I'll have to tell that nurse she doesn't have to do house cleaning. Yes, it's getting ridiculous. Let's start how that here. Nurse, where are you? Oh, there you are. Well, this is the sore finger. <laughs> what? She really must be a very shy person. <laughs> Suspects are the evil mad agents, the Linguinis. Oh. Try to get the remote control unit for the house. It's in my bedroom. Over and out. No more excuses. Gadget should have been destroyed by now. Don't worry, Dr. Flaw. My next plan is foolproof. For your sake, it better be. <laughs> All is ready, my little darlings? This time we will not fail, Professor Dear. <laughs> Kind sir, would you babysit my five adorable babies while I go to the store? Why me? Thank you. My, what cute little babies. Coochie-coo, little angels. 
Nice babies. Wowzers! Ouch! Ouch! Wowzers? You little darlings must be hungry. Calm down now and Uncle Gadget will feed you. Just hang in there, kids. Oh, nurse! Now, where did she go? Probably upstairs to fix a bed for their nap. Food's on the way. Oh, nurse! Food! Heaps of food. Ah, footsteps. It must be the nurse. Oh, nurse, I need your help. I sure hope she's dressed properly. Ouch! She's not here either. I'd better feed the little tykes myself. Well, look who's our little troublemaking doggy. Have a oh, doggy. Have fun. <laughs> Kids are a mess. Just sit tight for a second while I turn on the gadget kitchen helper. Ouch! It's one of these buttons. Hmm. The kids must have gone upstairs. Coming, kids! There you are, you cute little rascals. Time for a bathy buy. Come with Uncle Gadget. So there you are, nurse. We have to give the babies a bath. Get me a bar of soap from the hall closet. We'll give you a bar of soap. Ah, soap. Oh, my. Oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> You found the soap. Well, don't just stand there. Toss it here. Gladly. <laughs> wow! What's gotten into my rubber ducky? my gadgets check and I'd better get a new rubber ducky this one is too mean this is your last chance professor I yes dr. Claw this time I really believe we've come up with the ultimate solution to the gadget problem behold man best friend five of them and the gadgets worst enemy <laughs> There you are, all squeaky clean. Now for a nap. The poor kids are asleep already. <laughs> Wowzers. What's gotten in the brain? Uh, I've got to stop him before he ruins the yard completely. <laughs> Brain, I've talked to Chief Quimby. You've got to get the Linguinis into the house and Uncle Gadget out. Got it? 
This time you've gone too far, Brain. Huh? What? Brain, I want you to go to your house. But first, I want you to move back into one door. Oh, nurse, I wonder if you'd check my eyes while you're here. Wowzers! Wowzers! Go, go, gadget umbrella! Someone's tampering with the main controls, and those babies are in there. I've got to break in. Keep Lou and Queenie's busy brain. I'm almost home. Gadget, Mossy, we're somewhere. The chimney, of course. Go, go, gadget copter. are still napping. The linguine should be finished with gadget by now, Dr. Claw. That's probably your mother, kids. Just in time. Hmm. Wonder what Penny's toys are doing here in the hall. <laughs> Children, my good woman. Excuse me, I've got to turn off some toys. Here comes Chief Quimby. And there go the Linguinis. Oh. What went wrong? Well, tell you. Um, we did it! <laughs> I don't know how you did it, but you survived another mad attempt, Gadget. It's not mad I'm worried about, Chief. It's these darn toys of pennies. <laughs>
emergency, you can use ice cream bar sticks for splints for a sore finger. But don't take chances. See a doctor or the school nurse for anything serious. Good advice, Penny. And don't use the sore finger until it feels better. Wowzers! Ouch! <laughs> you can never find a nurse when you need one. What's that you're reading, Penny? I'm doing the research for my report on the history of computers. It says here that most of the gadgets the doctor put in your body have now been surpassed. Hmm. It's time for your bath, Penny. Yes, Uncle Gadget. I'll finish my report on the history of computers after my bath, Uncle. All right, Penny. Watch out for the phone booth, Uncle Gadget. Don't worry, Penny. I've gotten all the kinks out. The gas company goes anywhere, Gadget. Now read your assignment. Ghosts appearing in the homes of Metro City's most distinguished families. Discover the cause of these ghosts and get rid of them. Suspect a mad plot. Caution, this note will self-destruct. Don't worry, Chief. There's no such thing as ghosts. I'll get to the bottom of this. Oh, no! <laughs> Uncle Gadget, there's no hot water. The ghost globules are working splendidly, Dr. Claw. Wow! People will pay anything to get rid of my ghosts. All I have to do is spray them with rancid cooking oil, and they disappear. <laughs> I'll teach you to toy with Dr. Spectrum. Stop! <laughs> Stop, I say! <laughs> Excellent work, Spectrum. I'm overwhelmed, Dr. Claw. I couldn't be more pleased unless Gadget disappeared forever. Call me day or night. We'll rid your home of any spirits that are bothering you. <laughs> Don't worry, Brain. It's just superstition. I'm on a case, Penny. Finish your report and then go to bed. Okay, Uncle Gadget. Follow him, Brain. Don't be silly, Brain. There's really no such thing as ghosts. I have to finish that report, Brain. But call me if there's an emergency. Huh? 
gonna be a nice party. Sure is. I love costume parties. Wow. That must be some of the ghosts the chief was talking about. Which way did those ghosts go? All the guests are upstairs in the ballroom, sir. Thank you very much, my good man. What a creative costume! Inspector Gadget at your service, madam. I'm here to investigate the ghosts. Don't say such thing! I'm afraid of ghosts! Nonsense, my good woman. There's no such thing as ghosts. Gadget, you ruin everything. <laughs> Mansion. One lone police inspector should be no match for my specially trained agents. See that they take care of him. <laughs> Eliminate Gadget before the ghosts arrive. It will make everything simpler. That's nothing. I'll poison his canapé. Please, boss, let me blow him up with my exploding champagne cork. I'll dance the tango of death with him. Not the tango of death. I can't watch. Enough! Do it all! Excuse me, sir. Uh, madam. Uh, have you seen any ghosts? <laughs> The tango? All right, Brain. I'll be right there. Would you care for a canapé, sir? Have you seen any ghosts around here? Oh, no, sir. They're not allowed in this neighborhood. I see. What are these red things? Caviar. <laughs> Hey, you! Are there any more? Perhaps, Zurumaki, sir. Come on, little ballerina. Wait for your turn. What's that one? Beef tartar. What? It's raw beef. Raw beef? I can fix that. Whoa! Whoa! Don't even think it. Don't say a word. Pardon me, sir. Compliments of the hostess. What is it? Hmm. Let me guess. Wow! No, no, sir. It's fine champagne. It might brew. <laughs> go, go, get it, throw up. Hey, wait! Uh, perhaps you'd like to have the cork, sir. This is a very special cork indeed. Thank you, Commander. Oh, it has a nice ticking. Sorry, but I cannot accept any gift. I'm on assignment, you know. Please, sir, just take a look. No, no, I really can't. Ah! Row, row! Uh, 
I adore a man in a good costume. Huh. Hmm. They are playing my song. Would the inspector do me the honor of this one dance? With pleasure, senorita. But just one dance. I'm on assignment, you know. Don't worry, inspector. One last tango is all I'll need. <gasps> Rarango! I'm sorry, madam, but this lady asked me first. Send in the ghosts. Get into your costumes. I wonder what the van is doing here. are coming from. Send my ghost catchers right away. But you know it will cost you a little fortune. <laughs> it's showtime. Make Dr. Claw proud. Yippee! Yay. Let's go. Dr. Claw. So this is a mad plot. I thought so. But how does he control the ghosts? They're controlled by the antenna on top of the van. Dr. 
Don't be alarmed. I have everything under control. Go, go, gadget handcuffs. Wowzers. Slippery fella, aren't you? Stop. Stop in the name of the law. Go, go, gadget. Here we come to save the day. Stop! Sorry, guys, but it's my job to catch the ghost. So much for the tango of death. I'll show you who's tough. That's not our ghost. Don't be a twit. There's no such thing as ghost. Who are you calling a twit? Hey, I got a twit. You need a professional for this job. Go, go, gadget passman. I'm ready. Let's catch some ghosts. Inspector Gadget is on duty. There's nothing to fear. Here, take my money. Take my jewels. Here's all my cash. Take anything you want from my wallet. No, no, I said no gifts. Brain! There aren't any ghosts, Brain. These are some sort of chemical. It's all a mad scheme. <laughs> Brain, tell Chief Quimby to get over here right away. I'll take care of the ghosts. Let's see. If it's a radio wave, I could scramble it with coordinates G7 and J5. No, no, get back. Ruin my plans again, Gadget. But next time, you won't get a ghost of a chance. You can come out now. The ghosts are gone. This is the actual ghost. Yeah! I don't know how you do it, Gadget. The ghosts are gone and you've captured the mad agents. There's no such thing as ghosts, Chief. But some people think there are. We'd better bring your bike home in the Gadget Mobile, Penny. It's too dark for you to ride at home. That's right, Uncle Gadget. It's dangerous riding a bike at night. It's hard for cars to see you. If you have to ride at night, you should always wear white. Wearing something white makes you more visible than motorists. It also helps to wear a reflective jacket and put reflective tape on your bike. <laughs> 